What's happening right now in Alibaba Group? Let's see what's going on. Remember to read the disclaimer right here, first of all, and also in the description below. Very, very interesting, Alibaba. We have talked about this in the past. Right now, let's see how the price action has changed from what we can see in the weekly chart. We have this level being broken out, then acting as a support area, but from there, the price started to go lower again. Let's see the exact percentage from that moment of $350 to current prices, minus 76%. A lot of things to talk about. Also, we will see some amazing forecasts, so keep tuned with this video. Remember to subscribe and let's get started. Wow, well, I gotta tell you a lot of things about this stock we gotta tell you actually so let's take a look first you know that at the net income because that's gonna explain you know the the strange situation with alibaba you know the chinese market was bearish and uh, during the last couple of years but right, right now is rebounding and that's one of the reasons the alibaba is rebounding as well but look at that you know we we have a stable net income uh obviously uh, the the best moment when it was when when it may back in in november 2020 12 billion dollars of net income that was like absolutely nuts uh, but you know that was during the, the, uh, uh, um, a period that it was completely you know and a completely uh, anomalous situation but right now look at that we are talking about the net income of 2 billion um, and in comparison to the previous quarters is not that good but it's positive you know we're talking about net income not negative net income uh, and 2 billion is good to think about a recovery and look at that they are entering position and the most interesting thing Enrique what can you tell us about the RSI and the MACD indicators yeah let's see let me open it very very fast but I think just from looking at the chart that this should be like a very interesting levels we can see in the past let's go to 2015 we had this first like oversold territory in the RSI and from there we had one of the best buying opportunities for Alibaba at least from the, the price that it reached you know to almost 315 dollars right there you can really see this mm -hmm. upside potential incredible of more than 400 percent very interesting wow. and then in this upside it's interesting to notice that we had like overbought territories this one being very very uh, pronounced during 2017 and you know the price continued going higher it corrected right here let me draw it with a green circle so you can spot it in the chart and it had this this type of correction we could say 40 percent more or less to the downside and from there very interesting another signal that we had another oversold territory in the rsi and from there the price started to go up again to that level that we talked about in the past let's see the exact percentage 137 percent again overbought territory right here a small correction from there again overbought territory from there the stock uh, wasn't saved you know it started to drop dramatically and we entered into this last downturn that we have ex been experiencing minus 80 percent and to current prices minus 76 percent more or less in this downside territory we had multiple oversold territories you can see with the rsi but the price didn't bounce as strongly as in the past why could be that we don't know the exact reasons let us know in the comments your opinion about it but we had some bounces later right here you can clearly see yeah look at the rsi right here the macd the, the, there is a, an interesting bullish divergence in the weekly chart very very absolutely evident you can clearly see right here the levels and uh, actually you can even draw a support line right here in there in the rsi you know from march 2020 2022 till today i mean they are on different levels right here in support uh, acting as a support and the macd as well so obviously this is something that you have to take into consideration because a stock that is in net income that is holding the levels that i'm buying right here and you can clearly see right here in the default market they are buying there are a lot of buying pressure as well holding the line and this is like the perfect scenario you think about it you know uh, obviously we are no fortune tellers we cannot tell you what's going to happen next but you know this looks this look looks it looks good from the fundamental and technical side yeah that's your opinion of course so let's see the forecast that we have of analyst rating this stock for one year price forecast uh, for Alibaba Group Holdings. So they also believe like this is a good opportunity because we can see like the maximum one is 80% to the upside to almost $134. The average between these 47, you know, there are a lot of them in some stocks that we analyze, there are like five, 10, sometimes 20, but 47, uh, only a few of them. And then also we have the minimum one at current prices, you know, like the price won't change from here to one year. And then we have the forecast for the APS in the annual, 
uh, we can see like the estimate for 2026 will be the same as 2020. Very interesting to see how this develops. But from this perspective, they are also bullish. So I want to know your opinion in the comments, guys. What do you think? Are you bullish on Alibaba or are you berries? Or are you just on the sidelines? Let us know in the comments below and the reasons behind it so we can learn all together. Yeah, there is plenty of time to invest in this stock because, you know, uh, this is a long term opportunity, I would say, because the next quarter and, you know, the last quarter of 2023 is, is estimated to be worse than, you know, than, than, the, than the next ones. So obviously, mm -hmm. uh, if we take into consideration the, the annual income of the 2024, 2025, 2026, look at that, you know, the, according to this, it should go back to the 2020 levels in 2026. That's very nuts, you know, because the situation is completely different when it was, you know, the situation of 2020 uh, and 2026 is like, it's not, it's not the same scenario, but, you know, if, that, if they're able to reach those levels of 2020, that would be insane. And if that happens, the stock should be trading at, you know, according to this, to, to, it should be trading at $300. I mean, we're talking about an opportunity of more than 300% of performance. And so, we, uh, also, you know, Enrique, I got to tell you, um, there, there were issues, you know, regarding uh, orders when you ordered <laughs> Alibaba products and you needed to wait 40, day, 40 days to, to, to receive the, the items in Spain. I was surprised I received them the other day in just four days. <laughs> Wow, yeah, they changed that a lot. Apparently, obviously, they have a lot of competition in, in that sector, so they have to adapt to that situation. So, how is in your countries? Let us know in the comments also. And what is your opinion about Alibaba as a company, not just like uh, the trading stock? I mean, like they how they operate, how they are positioned in the market. And also very interesting from the technical perspective, uh, I see like this is a very interesting chart. We are using the logarithmic scale as usual. And you can see right here during this upside movement, we had this clear breakout. We could also uh, see this one. From there, we had very clear levels, you know, to start uh, maybe taking profits or the stock continued going lower from there. And right now we had that breakout on the other direction. So maybe that's also an interesting signal for that upper territory. But we don't have to forget, like we had a lot of um, bullish, sorry, uh, oversold territory right here in the RSI and the price didn't bounce as strongly as it happened in the past. So maybe this is not the same conditions as, as it happened. So this could be another direction also. This could go lower or this could go higher as usual in trading. Everything is possible, but as they say, Take the risk or lose the chance so let us know in the comments if you are taking this risk or not and what are the reasons behind it yeah we that post right, right there <laughs> yeah okay so thank you very much guys and see you in the next video remember to subscribe take care have a nice weekend and subscribe thank you very much trade hd let's go